Hello guys and welcome to ABK App Reviews. Today I am gonna give the review for Nexus Experience ROM or N5UX ROM. Now this ROM is based on AOSP. So firstly I am gonna show you how to install this ROM. You have to go to this page called nxrom.us. I will post the link for this page in my description. Here you will get the ROM file and the gapps file. So you have to get both the files and flash them into recovery one by one. So it's a very simple and easy process. Now let's check out the Android version provided by this ROM. So as you can see this ROM is based on 5.1.1. So it is the latest version of Android that is available right now. And I am running the latest build of ROM that is 9.3. And the build number is LMY47V. Now let's move ahead and check out the benchmark score for this ROM. Now I have tested this ROM with the 5 different kernels. So these are the respective scores with each kernel. So in my observation, the, the Elementalx kernel has quietly higher score as compared to other kernels. Now let's check out the battery performance of this ROM. Now I have tested this ROM with the 5 different kernels. Now all the stats that I am going to show are taken under this condition. That is the Google now is on, location is on battery saver mode, then the screen brightness is on 25% and all the kernels that I have used are used on a default setting. There are no tweaks applied to any kernel. Now my phone usage between the testing time was as follows. It is a kind of heavy usage. So these are the battery stats that I have taken with 5 different kernels. So as you can see the ROM has pretty good battery life with all the kernels. All the kernels have similar SOT. The average SOT for all the kernels is nearly about 3 hour 10 minutes to 3 hour 30 minutes. All kernels work great with this ROM. But I will give a slight edge to a elementalx kernel as it has good standby time as compared to other 4 kernels. So it depends upon your choice. All the kernels work perfectly with this ROM. Now let's check out the customization provided by this ROM. So firstly we will go into display and lights menu. Here you can see there is an option of live display. You can customize the live display setting from here. Then there is the option of ambient display. You can enable or disable the ambient display. Then there is the option to change the LCD density of screen. So you can customize the density of your screen. Then you can customize the lights for battery notification from here. Then another customization can be found under tab called interface. Here the first option is system profiles. Here you can manage the profiles for your system. Then next option is recent screen. Here you can enable or disable the clear all button. And you can also customize the position for the button. That is bottom center, bottom left, top right and top left. Then next option is expanded desktop. Here you can enable full screen mode for all of your apps or you can apply it to any specific app as per your choice. The next option is status bar. Here you can customize the clock and date. You can enable the network traffic monitor on your status bar. The next option is status bar carrier. It will show your carrier name on status bar. The next is battery status style. You can customize the status style to icon portrait, icon landscape, circle, text or hidden. You can also enable the battery percentage inside the icon or next to icon. Then next option is double tap to sleep. It will enable the double tap to sleep feature over your status bar. Then next is brightness control. You can enable the brightness control over your status bar. Then next is heads up. You can enable disable as per requirement. Then next is sticker and count. You can enable or disable it as per your choice. The next option is notification drawer. 
here you can enable the quick pull down from right edge or left edge then you can enable weather in your quick setting panel then here you can customize the clock and weather widget then you can change and customize the order of a tiles in quick setting menu you can customize the order of a tile or you can also add or delete any tile if you want then then you can enlarge or dislarge the first row then you can enable the quick setting menu in lock screen or you can disable it then you can enable or disable the brightness slider and you can also enable the advanced location setting in a quick toggle menu then next option is buttons here you can enable the left handed mode then you can enable the arrow keys while typing then you can customize the buttons and layout for the navigation bar then you can change the height for a navigation bar and there is the option to enable the pie control so as you can see i have enabled the pie control and the trigger position is on right edge of a screen so when i trigger it on right side you will see the pie control appears you can customize the style and trigger option for pie control then next is navigation ring target you can customize the ring targets then here you can customize the power menu you can choose between this option that will appear in your power menu then you can customize different volume button action with this options now this rom based on aosp it also has a cm theme engine included so it's a very simple and easy process to applying themes on this rom you can download any cm theme from play store and apply it on this rom it will work on this rom so these were the customization provided on this rom now let's move ahead and talk about the gaming performance and multitasking performance of this rom now in terms of gaming the rom is smooth and fast there is no lag or any issue while playing the game i have played some heavy games like asphalt 8 and modern combat 5 and some mid heavy game like zombie highway 2 and there is no issue so in terms of gaming the rom is pretty good now talking about the multitasking performance there is no lag while switching between the apps so my final verdict about this rom so if you want to have a aosp based rom with a cm theme engine with a nearly stock experience and a less amount of customization and good amount of battery life then just go with this rom i will post the link for this rom in my description so if you have any suggestion please leave it in a comment section below i will appreciate it so if you like this video please hit the like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video you can follow me on google plus and facebook thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video.